এই হাসিনা হইল জালিম জালিম জালিমের জালিমের কোন এই নাই আল্লাহ তালা নিজে কোরআনের মধ্যে বলছে আরো বেশি হবে এই হাসিনা সরকার এই এই পাকিস্তানি হানাদারের চাহিত আরো নিকৃষ্ট আপনার আপনি অনেক তারেক রহমান সাহেবের অনেক অনুষ্ঠানের অতিথি হিসাবে আপনি বক্তব্য দিয়েছেন মুফতি সদর উদ্দিন সাহেব এবং জামাতের শীর্ষ নেতাদের সাথে বিভিন্ন বৈঠকে আপনি বক্তব্য দিয়েছেন বাংলাদেশে এই মুহূর্তে ইসলাম বিদ্রিশি যে কার্যকলাপ গুলা চলছে সেগুলা প্রতিহত করার জন্য জামাত এবং বিএনপি কে একই মঞ্চে একই সাথে কাজ করা দরকার আছে বলে আপনি মনে করেন কিনা আই হ্যাভ হ্যাড সৈয়দ সাব সেইং দ্যাট आवर लीडर ऑफ बांग्लादेश इंशाल्लाह द फ्यूचर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मिस्टर तारिक जिया and uh, dr shafiqur rahman uh, were there in the meeting and it was very surprising and it was very uh, good news i think it's about time that they sit together and they start to shaping up the future because unfortunately the the monstrous hasina has taken the post again which we thought we could be winning this time so now we have to think of a strategy which is stronger and more united so when they were in the same uh, meeting together one is the chief guest and the other was the special guest this is a good news this is what we wanted and this is what the enemy the awami league does not want the indian government has always been uh, giving the fear to the bnp leaders that don't sit with the jamaat e islami because this is an islamist group but why don't they understand that in many countries like iran the whole system is by the mullahs and by the islamists so when it suits them it's okay it's no problem but in india because they are a, a very anti islamic they are the enemies they're killing muslims and they are burning and demolishing mosques by modi so they don't want another islamic uh coalition with the bnp in bangladesh future government but jamaat e islami and ikhwanul muslimin is not banned by the american administration this is what the the bnp has to understand that is not modi who runs the world and is he is not the main power is the western european countries and the united nation anyway what i would like to say to the bangladeshi political leadership that we should unite again and we should fight the hasina and they know the indian government and hasina and her supporters know that when bnp is going to join with the islamic shakti islamic power they can never win they can never ever win and anyway bnp is the first party who had made the bangladeshi political system as an islamization by adding bismillah rahman rahim you know shahid tar uh, zia rahman president rahmatullahi alayhi he is the man who has turned the politics in bangladesh in the dress of islamization so now we should not the bnp should never be scared of that because by birth bnp has got an islamic element which is called islami mullabud which is the opposite of awami league because awami league was muslim league and they have what awami league had done in bangladesh is that they have switched the islamic party into a non islamic party and this is what had made bangladesh 
the place, for the hub for Nasticism and anti-Islamization of everything. You know, Hasina, what is she doing? She's banning the iftar. She is banning the burqa. She is banning Islamic education. And she is banning all that which relates to Islam. So I think this is a good sign. And we should do the same, partner, because you have to fight this Hasina, because there is no sign of Hasina leaving the seat in the near future if we do not get strong. The only way we can make sure that in Bangladesh that BNP has got a standing is that they have to unite with the other parties like jamaat -e islami and other bistol or whatever and this is the right time to do that we have seen the bad result of not taking the unity together because this is what they wanted in shabak this is what they wanted with the the andulon at that time and as you can know say yourself the Delhi government at that time, they were supporting Imran Sharkar. Imran Sharkar, the Shabagi people, those Nastik, this is what they wanted. They wanted to write of jamaat -e islami And because of that, BNP got very scared of that. And this is the result. The last election and the election before that, was the result of the Imran Sharkar strategy supported by the Indian government for which the, that, the departure of jamaat -e islami and BNP unity was uh, sustained and they thought, you know, jamaat -e islami is gone. But if you want, if you say if BNP says or other parties, Islamic parties say Jamaat is gone, then that means there is no future for Bangladesh. This is going to be forever our milieu and uh, Indian government ruling. But look, Modi Sharkar and the uh, American Sharkar are not the same strategy. They are not the same strategy. They don't have any problem with Jamaat -e Islami, the American administration. The only problem is Modi. So therefore, we should not be scared by this fear mongering in politics. Jazakallah.